fourth set will be played on Akalon Wastes. Spawning in the bottom right-hand position, your EGTL Protoss player in the pink. His name is JYP. His opponent spawning in the top left position as the blue Protoss. His name is Zhang Bi. Ho Yong Mu. And uh, for those of the viewers out there who don't know what Zhang Bi means, which mind telling them? Um, it's actually one of the characters, if I remember correctly, from uh, the Chinese. I don't know if it was history or Chinese stories. Probably uh, both, to be honest. Probably both. Um, I, I don't know too much about it because uh, my parents are, like, are going like, read this book. I'm like, nah, I don't want to read. I want to solve math problems. I'm Asian. Oh, God. You couldn't have made that sound any nerdier. Yeah. But you did. You did make it sound nerdier. Anyway, well, get to the point, man. Got the point. Everyone got the point. That's all that matters. No, you forgot the point. We don't even know what his name means, man. Well, like I said, it's actually from one of the one of the characters' name, and he was uh, one of the warriors, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong here, so if I am wrong, you know, Crucify point me out. on Reddit if he's wrong, guys. You I already my, had enough yeah, crucification yeah, my, on Reddit. Yep, There's a blessing. reason why I don't read it anymore, man. <laughs> it's like every single man. morning I get a crucifixion. I'm like, oh, okay, this is the start of a new day. Man. Anyway, <laughs> you had to go there. I did have to go there. It's fun. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got to put money. It's like <gasps> SNM cannot translate Jongbi. He cannot translate what Jongbi means from in Korean to English. <gasps> Crucify him once again. And the crowd oh, goes no, man. wild. The crowd goes wild. They always go wild. All right. Well, getting uh, to the game here. So far, uh, early on in PvP, we do have the double gas from JYP. John B opting to go for just the one gas build. He will grab his second gas momentarily, though, getting it right now. And uh, still, could be anything really from both players. We may see a little bit more aggression from John B earlier on, but um, the later gas isn't a t and uh, necessarily a tell for that. What's funny is that some of these players are going for five probes in the gas instead of six at times, or four, trying to get a little more gas with less minerals uh, early in the game, and that usually means they're going to get heavier tech earlier in the game. Yeah, I actually like that JYP's doing that here. It already points to him going for a very specific build order timing. And uh, now sending out his probe there, using that, not using that Zelot to do damage there. He, he fooled me, man. He fooled me. Well, he does have the Stargate in the left position. Can Jangbe actually scout it? Yes, he does. All right, well, he does scout the Stargate, and I'm not sure if that was actually intentional by JYP or not, the, the show off the Stargate there. He canceled. There, there we, we go. go. Canceling that Stargate, putting down the Twilight, and I got to say, that was pretty smart from Jongbi, or from uh, JYP here, because you know what? Hmm. If you're going to go Stargate nowadays, you almost always proxy it, I want to say. Well, not always, but you do proxy it a lot. Ooh. The problem is Jongbi moving in here, and... Is he gonna? Uh, he's wait? gonna wait for the stalker and the mothership core. He's following up with the gate uh, stargate on his own. So he's thinking my opponent's gonna go for Oracle first and then get the phoenix. So I'm just gonna stack a phoenix early in the game. Yeah, and the stalker gonna do work on the zealot. But now reinforcement stalker from Jombie will force him back. Where is that zealot that Jombie has? Uh, sure, uh, there it is. Uh, J Sorry, the JYP has also mothership core as well. Will we see DTs? DTs? There we go. Yes, it will that's be DTs. A, that's actually a logical follow-up if you show the Stargate because now John B, he's not going to get any detection for himself. He's going to start stacking on the Phoenix count. So it really depends on this micro. John B needs to win this and scout what his opponent has. All right, it's going to be very close back and forth here. I think John B having a little bit of an uh -oh. edge here. He's going to go for the scouting. But the Mothership Core, can it get into the main base in time? The DT Shrine way out of position, and he will see Stargate has been canceled. This should immediately alert John B that something is up here, and he needs to be ready for anything. He made the first Phoenix. Is he going? Yes, he's going for the Oracle right away to be safe as possible. He's going to double check with the Phoenix that he has already. And he is completely safe against the DT. Yeah, as long as he doesn't send that Oracle across the map, there is nothing that's going to stop JYP from, um, or nothing that's going to stop Zhang Bi from uh, stopping this DT aggression here. But the, the real question is, is JYP going to just go for a big bust here? 
He has up the three gateways. He's putting down the final one, so he knows that his opponent know, knows what J uh, JYP is up to. And so there now it is. He sees the Dark Shrine. The real question is, will JYP just go ahead and make, like, an Archon to stop Force Fields and go for the bust? He's going for it. He's going to go for it. He does spot the Oracle. Mothership Core moving in as well. This is going to be very close. And look at this. Forcing a recall. That Mothership Core is completely useless. Yes, he is going to be using that uh, those DTs to make an Archon here. Now, Zhangdi, he does have uh, three gateways of his own. And now, moving in here, we're going to have to see who will win in this engagement. The Archon will be very useful for Zhangdi here. For, sorry, for JYP here. And uh, this so, could be very, very difficult for Zhangdi to uh, defend against. Really nice. Just going for the Archon first. And if the Archon does get taken out, where's the Oracle, however? Did it actually get sniped? Uh, the Oracle, uh, I believe, it did get sniped. JYP uh oh, there was a DT in the mix. Here. There was a DT in the mix here. Is it at the mineral line right now? That's the real question. Nice micro there from JYP. Going to kill off a few stragglers there. And the DT in the main base doing a lot of damage as well. Archon going down. Mothership 4 getting killed off for JYP here. But it uh, looks like he does uh, continue to micro against these units here. Doing a lot of damage. JYP, even if he loses this attack here, he has killed off a lot of probes. And now it is 16-15. The 14 Zhang. Actually, both players losing probes right now. Because Zhangbi did the amazing Zealot run by. Oh, Zhangbi. Even the Observer doesn't see it. Now, the biggest problem for Zhangbi is he doesn't have a Robo, which means that he needs constant Oracle production inside the main base. If not, he doesn't know when the DT is going to come inside the main base and kill more probes. Also, Stalker advantage is in JYP's favor here, doing a really nice job sniping off two Stalkers, only losing one. I would love to see a DT get made at this point and sent into Zhangbi's base um, right now. We could definitely see him do even more economic damage if he does that. Yeah, but JRP doesn't have enough gas at this point. He's just trying to macro up as much as possible. So now we have this little standoff, and Zhangbi, what he needs to do is get the Observer out. Oh, get the so robot down. smart by Zhangbi, trying to really focus down uh, on, this, on these probes here. He will lose the Oracle. That should prompt JYP to go for another DT and try to attack his opponent. Where is the DT? Well, will we see it? That's the real question. But another Oracle mm -hmm. has been made by Zhangbi here, so he will be safe uh, against the uh, DTs for now. Yeah, I mean, that's the build. That's, this is why it's kind of tricky to play against the DTs, because you need constant Oracle production to defend against the DTs. However, if you have the enough minerals and enough gas, then you could depend defend against the DT all day long. It's just better to get the Observers out in the end, but at least Zhangbi will be able to survive against this one DT that's going to go uh -oh, inside the main base. DT moving into the main base here. He may Where's be able to Oracle, get... Where's the Oracle, however? The Oracle is in the main base okay. here, but the thing is that DT is going to get at least a, a few kills before getting killed off here. DT moving uh -oh. into the main base. No response for Zhangbi quite yet here. Now realizing what's going on, but the problem is... He has, he, uh, JYP has been able to equalize the worker count out, now actually ahead overall, 18 to 16. Both players killing about 20 workers each, pretty insane. I'm just surprised that uh, Jongmi did not go for the robo as soon as the battle ended, instead he waited a little bit longer to get it out. He had the Oracle inside the main base, so he, it was easy for him to um, just go into the robo right away, and Stargate right after but this is a little tricky because JYP is only sitting in one base. He has up to four gateways. And he's going for all these different tech yeah, I guess in he, one base. He really wants to end the game. It's like, it's like Pokemon, man. Scenario. He wants yeah. to catch them all. He wants to catch them all, and he wants to catch his opponent off guard and win the game. That's true. And now with the Robo out for Zhangbi, DT tech completely useless at this point. I have to say, it, I would have liked to see some earlier blink play from JYP here as a follow-up, but you know what? He's still in a pretty solid position right here. Uh, only a little bit behind Zhangbi as far as supply goes, but will we see Where's any defense the in the main base here from this Oracle? There are Stalkers, so JYP should be pretty safe against these Oracles. Mm. But also, Zhangbi... It's really crucial for him to get... Okay, so here's the funny thing. JYP did go for the Stargate. He's... And he just can't make that many units from Stargate right now. He doesn't have the economy. He, he really doesn't. Now, uh, JYP is going to be the first one to expand here. And the, the question will be, 
Is Jombie going to go for the bust? Will he, he get an expansion of his own? He Looks like he wants to go for that expand, though. He could go for the bust right now. He did show the expansion. Was it a fake? No, he's going to get an expansion on his own. The reason why I said that is because he has Immortals compared to his op uh, opponent. He's not going to have to blink or to charge out in time to defend against it. But it seems like Jombie is kind of scared of all those um, the DT run bys that could go inside the main base and possibly end the game. That's very true. And you know what? Uh, I like that safe, solid play from him. We do have an Oracle on the way for JYP here, though. So interesting. He's going to see if he can do any type of uh, harassment there. And uh-oh, this Oracle wow, in the main base doing again. a good amount of damage, getting up to three kills. And... Uh, will it? Yes, it gets wow. four as well. Very low on health. Will manage to survive. Once again, the probe count going to Jongmi this time around. But uh, we do have charge on the way for JYP here. And uh, getting, a f getting an Oracle as well behind this. Will so, JYP be able to equalize out the damage here? Whoa, his opponent doesn't have any Phoenix, and all of his units are at the natural instead of the main base, it seems like. Well, he does have the two stalkers finally. And he's going to be able to kill the Oracle, but. Let's just wait and see until how much probes JYP can get with a single Oracle. It's probably not going to be too much at this point. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Close. Close but no cigar there. Uh, still one Oracle for each player here. Interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did he just move those stalkers to the... Yes, he did. Uh, I think he realized the Oracle nowhere nearby here. JYP at the same time trying to find... Uh, his opponents uh -oh. as well, and... JRP is going to fake the attack at the front and use the Oracles to kill. Whoa, he's going in with the Oracles right now inside the main base. Alright, and the Nexus Cannon does go down. We get three kills on that Oracle. It's going to go ahead and back out now, trying to waste the energy on that Nexus Cannon. Very smart. Uh, from JYP here. He also Ooh. has an Archon he can add into the mix to get rid of any force fields. Remember, he's got charge, and you know what? Uh, overall, his army composition, pretty solid. It could go either way here, but uh, there's going to be no force field help from Jongmi. So now Jongmi, he needs perfect. He needs to get the... Oh, okay, it's like out, this. and now he's pushing in. Nexus Cannon goes down, but the charge lots are going to be very hard for Jongmi to deal with here. And moving in, lifting up one of those Immortals. Very smart from JYP here. And the second Immortal getting completely surrounded by these charge lots. Uh, the supply is still very close between the players, but it looks like uh, JYP, he has managed to win this engagement. He has to worry about that Oracle in his main base, but at the same time, we wow. have Blink from John B here, but the problem is he just doesn't have as many units. But he does have the Minerals to warp in extra units while JYP cannot look back at this point. So if John B has perfect micro, maybe he could try to pull this off. He needs an absolutely amazing micro to pull this out right now. Yeah, JYP, he needs the micro perfectly here. Like you said, the, the charge lots are moving in there. They're getting into a decent position. We but need perfect like micro. John B is holding JYP. right now. John B, even if he holds, though, he has lost a lot of probes. Both players very low on the probe count here. JYP moving back for now. He does have that natural, though, and he is mining from it. Supplies 39 for John B, 18 for JYP. John B somehow holds amazingly using the Blink Stalkers and GG from JYP. He just lost too many probes and couldn't make it happen. What's also amazing is that with the Blink Stalkers, he got the unit that mattered the most in that battle, Archon. He just blinked, sniped it, and went back inside the main base and said, you know what? He only has charge loss and I have Blink, so if I just blink around, then I'm going to win this engagement. He doesn't have any...